This is Percussive Elements, an awesome free contact library. I love the design, particularly the epicness style and the way it changes the graphic on the interface. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. That's just one of the free things that we'll be looking at in today's video, which includes something retro and something creepy. But first of all, let's get started off by looking at a really great mastering plugin. This is MasterDesk Classic from Brainworks, a mastering plugin which is really designed to make mastering a simple and sort of intuitive process for you. It's normally $149 However, it is free at the time of making this video for the next few days or so. So I highly suggest you watch the rest of this video first, of course. But if you want to get this plug in, follow that link in the description down below right away and get hold of it. How does it deal with mastering? Well, with three simple steps and then some optional ones. And those three simple steps have labeled controls. This first one here, volume, which is labeled number one. This one, foundation, which is labeled number two. And then tone number three and as I say, some optional controls as well. So volume, first of all, I kind of wish that they had labeled this loudness since it really um, adjusts loudness, which is achieved through adjusting things like compressors and limiters under the hood. And it's just the kind of average level of your music. And that's what really people perceive in terms of loudness rather than the peaks. Volume for me is more of a level control, but I won't go on about it. It's labeled volume. It should be loudness. Anyway, you adjust this, or the idea is you adjust this until the metering here is showing between 6 and 8 dB, and they've sort of shaded that in green there, okay, to indicate that's a good zone. So you would listen to your track as I'm about to and adjust this control until you're roughly in that ballpark. it's already roughly there that's fine you can see over here the dynamic range was was saying until it disappeared there around about 7 db so that's fine um, the next thing that we deal with is foundation now this is really dealing with the low end of the mix the foundation and as you push this up you get a little bit more emphasis in the low end and um, as you go down then it sort of disappears from the mix so i'm just going to adjust this quickly until it sounds about right to me I like it around about there. There's a nice warmth to it there. Finally, step number three, tone. This really deals with the brightness of the mix, more the higher end if you like. It's gonna sound really dark down here. We'll have a listen. And then pretty bright when I put it on 100%. I'll just adjust that down. you get to that to the point where it sounds good to you now they do have some different settings for this tone control a b c and d and i don't know really what's happening with these they don't seem to say in the manual they just say there's four different settings for you to try out i'm not certain i can hear an awful lot of difference but i'll go uh, between them at the moment you can tell me in the comments down below whether you hear any difference Not sure if I'm using that wrong or whether there's just not much difference or maybe my hearing isn't that great and yours is. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, I like to play with stereo widening in my mixes and that doesn't mean I always like things to be wide. Definitely in some circumstances with some songs, I want them to sound fairly narrow and down the middle. But it is nice that this is here and what I like about the control in this particular plugin is whatever setting you use, whether it's very narrow down low, down low like this or very wide up high like this it always seems to sound pretty natural to me have a listen and see what you think this is narrow now it's going to depend on your particular song but i find even up there on 100 percent of width um, it's still sounding okay i can't say that of all other plugins it can sound really crazy on the highest uh, end and not very natural so i guess 
for this, I would have it about there or so. I'm happy with that. Now, the other thing that you can play around with is this. This is the total um, harmonic distortion. I almost forgot what it stood for. And again, this is just adjusting harmonic distortion. Now, if you're just starting out with your mixing, it's very likely that you can't hear much difference with this. It's a very subtle control when we're playing with these kinds of things. And again, it depends on the track, you, your uh, mixing and kind of or mastering I should say and how much level you've got all of that kind of thing but I'll, I'll just play with it a little bit here and you can have a listen to see what difference you can hear it's very very subtle I feel there's a little bit more life in it on the high end um, but as I say don't feel bad if you can't hear much difference and finally over here this is it's interesting that this is optional because really it's something you should always be considering. Um, this is making sure that we're never going to peak under any circumstance. Now, um, this is definitely going to limit our track to 0 dB there when we have it set here. Once you've got this plug-in switched on, by the way, and this is engaged, you will not sort of go over 0 dB. But it's advisable often just to have it a little bit lower than that okay just to make sure that on different systems when the analog to digital conversion happens that there's no clipping so you might want to put it down to i don't know you know just a little bit below like so you know zero 0.3 or 0 0.2 something like that so that's a great control to have on there as well and um, really you could download this plugin and if you've never done any mastering before you could go a long way to getting some good results from this mastering it's really quite spooky talking of spooky how about this for a plugin this is actually not spooky but creepy this is creepy piano to light so this light version is completely free and it's got a lot of options which are great fun i've put together a little sort of arpeggio piece here starting off with this preset coffin rot which kind of gives you an idea of what's to come there's some more extreme ones than this this is actually the sort of more tame one but we'll have a quick listen it will give you an idea of where this is aimed at Get the idea there this is sort of a sinister sounding piano but the fun for me is in these controls down here we've got rain vinyl wind darkness now darkness is a little sort of harder to describe than some of the others we'll, we'll play with this first i'm going to play that arpeggio again but then i'm going to blend some darkness in let's have a listen Okay, we're getting a bit sort of creepy here. Let's have some rain. Oh yeah. And some vinyl. We're definitely going to need some wind. <laughs> that is the opening for a horror movie right there now we'll switch off these effects just do that quickly i do like the fact that when you switch these effects off they don't suddenly disappear they sort of gradually fade out like that that's a nice touch now that is the sort of a, a basic sound that i was using they're called coffin rot as i say some of them are much more extreme so i'll go over here to let's go to grotesque here have a listen to this Okay, cool. Um, let's. Try. I'm just randomly going to go for Evil Stench. Oh, yeah. I'm sure if you need to write a piece of music in this sort of vein with a piano in it, this is definitely something you should be reaching for. Of course, you can see some other controls here. Um, we've got a regular sort of attack, decay, sustain, release controls there to adjust those sounds. And um, we've got some panning for those sound effects. You've got some um, uh, mod depth and mod rate here for some modulation effects there. So look, it's all good stuff. If you like this kind of thing, definitely download it right away.
Talking of pianos, the very first sound that we're going to listen to from this free plugin, Retro Vibes Lite, is the pop piano sound. Now, this comes with 16 different sounds, all very different, all very quirky. This is just a piano, but there's pads and there's all kinds of other sounds in there. Now, for some reason, I don't know why they've restricted them to just three octaves, and that's reflected with the three octave little keyboard that we can see at the bottom here. Not quite sure why they did that, but they're all kind of quirky sounds, okay? They're they're sort of fairly extreme and I think with things like this pop piano you're either going to love it or hate it or you, you may just love it or hate it for the particular piece of music that you're um, intending it for let's just have a quick listen to see what you think very metallic sounding isn't it as I say it's sort of fairly harsh and that may not be what you want but you may love it if you do like it then you know hit the like button for me and if you hate it hit the like button anyway because you're enjoying the video right you could do that for me moving on some of the other sounds we have in there are things like this pad which I'll select now this is called shiny space let's have a quick listen to this <laughs> could be useful and then we've got things like this this is cool let me just find it here good times is it good times that is retro vibes like they as i say there's all kinds of different sounds in there they don't really have many percussion type sounds but we'll get to hear that in the next library. Now, I really don't know how this company, SplashSound.org, has passed me by up until now. They've actually got a range of excellent free libraries for contact. Now, before I get all the hate in the comments, yes, the library's free, but you do need the full version of contact. If you haven't got that, you know what? Have a listen to this because it may push you over the edge and think, wow, even the free stuff you get from contact is awesome. This is called Percussive Elements. Now, I think this is version two and they've also got version three available. And as I say, a bunch of other stuff. Let's just have a listen to what this is all about. I've got the war ensemble loaded up. We'll have a listen to this. Oh, yeah. And you can see I'm just hitting these red keys up here to play these kind of patterns. Now, these are not sort of audio loops which are playing. They're actually rhythms which have been made of the individual sounds that we've got down here on the blue keys, yeah? all those things down there so because of that they are adjusted to the tempo that you've got set in your door so they will play at a different tempo depending on what the setting is for tempo in your door which is really really handy in my opinion now of course as you can see there's a bunch of controls up here there's a compressor up here with the regular threshold ratio and the mixer that's going to help you to make things a little bit more punchy i guess then we've got a low pass filter we'll have a listen to that And a high pass filter. It'd be really handy for making things like this sort of sit in your mix. And then we've got a mid control there as well. Now, the other sliders and controls over here uh, for uh, mixing in the mics and the sound of the room, um, the sort of reverb effect, I guess, and that sort of thing as well. But the control that really um, sort of I think is great, I just sort of love it, is this one down here. It's called Epicness. Okay. Now, I'll play one of those patterns again and I'll just turn it up and down. And you can hear, I think what it's doing is just making an adjustment to the velocity of the notes being played for those patterns. But again, I'll do it again and check out the sort of graphic in the background here. Oh, it's getting hotter. <laughs> I don't know. Little touches like that on plugins just thrill me. Small things, small minds and all that. Now, that is just one of the libraries you get in this particular pack. So there's also one that I'll load up now, which is called um, Ethnic Ensemble. We'll have a listen to that. Of 
good stuff there. Um, another one we've got, which is sort of interesting, is high percussion. Now, if you think about the first one I had, say, war ensemble, then you may want to add this to it. Oops, try again. I know it's just a hi-hat, but it's got some little bit of subtleness in there, which is nice. Other variations there? love all that stuff as i say there's quite a lot of free libraries from these guys and they're all really high quality i definitely recommend following that link in the description down below now if you like any of these plugins you're also going to love the other free plugins that i've been looking at recently including vocal doublers reverbs eqs some really clever gates lots of very good stuff now for your convenience i've put all of my videos about these free plugins in a playlist which you can watch just here if you want more good free stuff i suggest you click there now